All right, folks, uh, game week 242 now. So uh, let's dive in. We'll recommend some players to buy. Uh, if we look at the, the actual percentage payouts here, we're starting to get back into kind of what, what a normal game week is. We see uh, a lot of the uh, leagues playing, which is great. We're seeing that the rewards are okay, a little better, I suppose. Uh, these numbers will increase uh, over the next day or so. But um, you know, Champion Europe tends to have a bit of a bigger payout, but of course, uh, you need a lot more points to win that one. Um, America's one thing interesting here, so just only 12 prizes given out here, but yet um, here in Limited, there's 80. So um, if you are trying to get into America early here, um, probably your Limited cards will have the greatest chance. Um, nothing else too surprising in any of these areas. The Special Weekly uh, still features the African Cup of Nations, of course, the finals this weekend. And, uh, but you only need two cards this time. Uh, this, uh, the last little bit, it's been three. So, um, I think we'll see more people get into this one. That's needs to be rewritten. Um, and the, the prize, the card pay payouts are okay. Um, so I may throw something in. we'll see. Uh, so that's where that's at. Um, but I want to get into some players I'm recommending. So as always, what I'm trying to do is look at least a couple weeks ahead, try and position you, you know, two to 10 weeks um, in a bit of a window where you think you could we could buy some cards whether they're limited or rare and then flip them in around that time because we think they're sort of on the rise that could be because of an upcoming schedule getting ahead of that very reactive nature that a lot of so rare players are where they're only thinking about the week ahead um, or it could be uh, some underlying stats that it, that it, uh, suggest that some uh, positive regression is is due so it's kind of where we're at with this one I'm, I'm looking at uh, mostly uh, goals and assists and xg and, and, and basically Basically, what I'm um, the premise here is um, buyers on so rare tend to be heavily influenced by L5 scores. L5 scores tend to be heavily influenced by decisive scores. Decisive scores are heavily influenced by goals and assists. And of course, goals and assists are heavily influenced by shots, chances. Uh, shots on target and uh, an XG expected goals, expected assists, and things like that. So if you follow that train um, all the way down to the end, then we we get to a certain number um, or some certain um, data points that we can look at that in theory could lead us to uh, selling a card in you know six weeks, ten weeks, something like that, and actually making a good profit. So um, I started in the Bundesliga. If you look at last week's video, you'll see that um, heavily. Um, I, I had heavy focus on Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, they really seem to be due for a number of goals and um, their second half schedule looks, uh, well, it's going to be a challenge because they're bottom of the table, but uh, it looks like they're at least um, playing against uh, clubs kind of within their reach and, and uh, their talent level. So um, check out that one if you want to see. So now I'm going into kind of the rest of the Bundesliga. Um, we'll touch on some other leagues in, in future weeks, but uh, these are three players that stand out for me. So the first one here, let's go. So uh, Andrej uh, Kramaric, so, um, you know, a bit of a veteran, obviously for Hoffenheim, um, they uh, they certainly need goals. What we see here is um, on the limited side, you know, a little bit of a rise in price already. Um, but I mean, if you compare it to three months ago, it, you'd call it kind of flat. Um, and I think Rare has also had a bit of a rise as well. Um, yeah, just a little bit of one. So, uh, pretty, pretty well-known player, pretty pricey player, frankly, um, steady in terms of his, uh, his numbers and whatnot. But, uh, you know, we want to kind of get back into these clustered areas right here. Maybe he's been sort of just middling of late. So let's have a look at the underlying numbers. So, you know, one of the things I like here is, uh, so we see, uh, maybe goals a little bit down in terms of percentile, but his expected goals are, are above that. And, uh, his his uh, non-penalty expected goals plus expected assists are in, um, you know, 82nd percentile. That's pretty decent. But more specifically, let's look at kind of his history. So right now on the year, he has three goals and seven assists uh, when he should have, should in theory have five, 5.7 goals and five assists. So um, maybe overperforming a little in the assists, underperforming in the goals. But what we really see is that over the last five years, look at this, 20 goals last year, 12, 17, 13, 15. Um, also, uh, you know, pretty steady. I guess his assists, he's kind of hit where his his average would be at, but he's certainly due for some goals. And uh, it, it would you would think that he, he should be, um, you know, he should be a good one to go for it. So, um, where are we here? Where was the SCA? Do do do. There it is. Um, so if we look at so SCA is um, uh, shot creating actions. So it's a little under where he he's been, but it's not dramatically under. Um, he's still 
uh, he's still kind of in the range of when he was scoring 10 goals, 15 goals and things like that. So that's really positive for me. Uh, the other one is uh, in terms of shots here, where are we? Sorry, it's a bit of bouncing around to, to get to these numbers, but um, yeah, so his, his shots on target, um, his percentage is a little uh, lower than maybe the last two years, but I mean, there's a healthy amount. I mean, it's about halfway or so uh, from his actual shots on target last year. So um, I kind of like this again. And then if we look at the club, um, as a whole, uh, he leads the team in shots on target, you know, by a pretty decent margin. And I think he's second in, uh, in scoring chances. Uh, yeah, your shot creating actions. Sorry. Yes, he's second. Sorry, there he is just behind, behind Rom. So, um, I mean, this all points to somebody that should bounce back in the second half. Um, he's a veteran, uh, so, you know, shouldn't be, he's pretty steady in terms of his point production anyway. So you're buying into somebody that is certainly capable of, of doing pretty well just from a, an overall uh, scoring point of view. But then if we see some upside, it means uh, in, in terms of goals, then it means that we're going to hit some of these numbers a little more frequently. Now, if we move on, the next one for me, uh, Karim uh, Demerbe. So Bayer Leverkusen uh, mid. So again, um, some really nice scores kind of earlier in the season, but maybe tailed off a little bit of late. If we look at this price graph, we see uh, really starting to come down. So his rare price has dropped significantly and uh, and his limited price, I think, has gone, yeah, quite a significant drop here. Uh, this is definitely a top player uh, in his prime. And what I like about some of these numbers here is, I mean, when we talk about shot creating actions, he's in the 94th percentile. So um, he's, he's not necessarily an out-and-out goal scorer as we see here. He's Last year, he only had four. A couple of years ago, he had four as well. Um, his assists uh, tend to be pretty decent. So the fact that he has only one goal, one assist, um, and, and here's his XG here, sort of three and one, or three and two and a half, rather, um, suggests that there's definitely some upside on that um, in that regard. And again, same thing as the previous one. If we look at uh, um, scoring, if we look at shot creating actions, um, you know, amongst the players that are getting regular uh, 90 minutes. So he's basically third. So you have, you know, Diaby and Wirtz here and, uh, and Demer Bay's third here at a 3.23. So uh, per 90. So, um, and actually, even if we sort by this, we see that he's third in just uh, actual action. So um, he plays behind those two. So, I mean, this is a really healthy number. This looks, uh, you know, uh, certainly someone that at a minimum should be generating assists and generating scoring chances that lead to goals, uh, which again should should boost his decisive score in the second half here. And then the last one for me is uh, Sasha Klagic. So um, if we look at the price here, so I mean, he was injured for quite some time, um, has just come back. So, um, you know, and he played 90 in all three matches, but, you know, obviously uh, shaking off a bit of rust. Um, I believe his price is, is starting to creep up. Yeah, so we are seeing this one kind of already starting to peak a little. Um, and I think the limited as well. But it hasn't shot up the same way. I mean, this one's a, maybe a bit of one. Um, you will pay a little bit, but it's come down a little now. And uh, what I like about, uh, in terms of Sasha, so if we look at some of his, obviously his numbers are really hard to um, to account for this for this season uh, in particular. He's, he's been injured. But uh, again, 16 goals last year, five assists. Um, just uh, really a um, a player that uh, that uh, should be relied on um, by Stuttgart. Stuttgart are in last place, or sorry, second to last place here. Um, they desperately need goals. They um, they only score um, uh, they only score ten or sorry they only score twenty two here. They've lost most of their games. Um, their top goal scorer is. Um, Mavropanos, if that's how you say it, uh, only has four and he's a defender. So um, they need forwards to get going and uh, uh, Klajic should be uh, the one to be relied on. So that's um, that's who I'm, I'm focusing on. Uh, these are guys that I'm going to look at uh, putting some bids in or, or trying to make some moves. And I think they should bounce back. So um, hope that helps for you. We'll keep an eye on these and kind of return back to them and see um, how they play out in the um, over the next, again, kind of six to 10 weeks. Uh, finally, just 
last thing I just want to throw out here is uh, these two courses I just launched uh, just last week. Uh, just had my first sign up, which is pretty cool. So um, I, I split really them into two. So this one here is free. It's truly a beginner's course. It, it walks you through in 24 lessons, like everything, the ins and outs, how scoring works, um, how to set up a team, all of those things. You can definitely find a lot of this content um, on YouTube. And I'll probably drip feed a few of the, the videos on, onto YouTube as well. But um, I, this is like by far the most comprehensive where you can really go step by step at your own pace if you're really just starting out um, go for it dive in like I said it's free um, the second one has a price to it it's it's um, uh, done intentionally which is uh, that's Canadian there what you'll see on screen so um, in your currency it's probably uh, quite a bit less Canadian seems to be under everyone but um, the uh, it's really meant to be at, at the level of about 0.02 Ethereum, which is that um, Ethereum threshold uh, that basically this course helps you build a team towards that. Um, so the thinking is if I can help you get that one week earlier than you normally would uh, or one extra time, uh, then it's paid for itself. Uh, there's also a lot around buying and selling cards and trading and long-term value versus short and prize winning cards versus others and things like that. So there's definitely... Um, a ton of stuff in there that that surely this course would pay for itself if you simply made a profit on one card or one one extra card or like I said one ethereum um so i think this is uh this one the first uh it has the first 24 lessons in it so it's not 43 sort of unique lessons it's got the first 24 and then it adds 19 other lessons that really dig into building a roadmap building a plan um go check it out you can see it here there'll be a link below but so rare strategy.thinkific.com um, and go check it out. Uh, anyways, I'm super proud of it. I spent all uh, kind of Christmas time, sort of December-ish uh, making it come together. So uh, there you go. We'll talk again soon. Hope that all helps. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.